Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Man Mick here. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Wow, I'm so excited, Man Mick bringing you the YouTube first. You won't see this anywhere else on YouTube. All the new Zontis 350cc models use J. Joan Spanish brakes. They're used in uh, competition racing, they're absolutely brilliant. They're radial calipers. And this is how to change the brake pads on the front. Two M10 by 60 bolts that hold the caliper onto the radial arm. There are two clips on the back of the pad pins that you remove. Then, using a T25 hex, you release both of the pad pins while holding the pad seating spring and location where you have them on the back. Then, remove the two pad locating pins. And both the brake pads can be pulled out. At this point you can clean the four pistons if required. As you can see he's just going to hold that into place. We put some new brake pads in. Locating the pads through both the pins. New brake pads are of course available from your Zontis dealer and I'm sure there's some aftermarket Jejuan brakes out there somewhere for you to look for. Some people like to have scented pads. You could also clean these pad pins while they're out. And you can also then after cleaning the pad pins put some bearing grease on the pads. Slither a bit on there so then the actual pads can run across the pad pins nice and evenly. Bearing grease will not um, go soft when it gets hot either, it will stay in position. I prefer to clean the cylinder pistons with a bit of washing up liquid on a toothbrush, clean all the guns off the side of them so they can push in easily. As you can see, next is going to push the four pistons back in nice and easily. But you can do this with the old calipers still in place because the new pads you have to push the cylinders back in. Otherwise, it will not fit back onto the disc rotor. Now they're putting the two M10 by 60 bolts back in. Tighten them up to 45 to 50 newton meters of torque. Once in, the ABS sensor that you took off at the beginning can be put back into place on the so sensor on the ABS ring. Well, that's it. Hope you like this YouTube first. Please like, subscribe. And how easy was that to change pads? This is Mad Mick, signing off. I will see you all later.